Hi, it's Rick here from The Game Creators. Welcome to this third video about making a simple shooter. So in the past two videos we've created a player ship, we've moved it left and right, we've made it shoot a, a laser, and um, now we're going to add an enemy to shoot at, and do the collision, and uh, pretty much make the, the final parts of the game. So here we are again in App Game Kit IDE, and uh, this is the main loop here. And there's still some lines that you can see are commented out, and these will introduce these new elements to do with the enemy. So I've got some variables here uh, enemy x as float and enemy y as float. So that's just the x and y position of the enemy. And then I've got enemy direction equals 4. Uh, you'll see that in the moment when we go to the uh, routine that controls that. We've got to include a new file. So hash include, if you remember, adds more source code to the main project and creates a bigger product. And obviously when you compile it, it, in, it involves all these files you've included. So enemy move to AGC. What is that? This is um, here. I'm going to step through that now. So uh, enemy Y equals enemy Y plus 1. Okay, what does that do? It moves the enemy down the screen um, at the same rate. So when you see the enemy start, it'll be moving down the screen. And um, then we go to the moving the E in the X direction. If you remember, enemy direction was 4. Um, so we have an if here. If uh, it's 4, which means that it's going to the right, then we're going to check to see if it's got to the width of the virtual screen, minus the size of the sprite itself, um, which we need to actually load in, actually. I've, Fail to do that bit, so we'll do that straight after this. Uh, if it has got to that side of the screen, then make enemy direction minus four. So when we add enemy direction to the x position, it'll start moving to the left. And this is where we do the this line here: enemy x equals enemy x plus enemy direction. Okay. So remember, it was started as four, so the x gets increased by four until it hits the right hand side, and then it gets set to minus four. Then we do another check here. Um, in fact, I've got two, haven't I? I've got two going on, so a bit crazy. I need to get rid of one of those, make sure. Um, in fact, we'll leave that there. Get rid of that one. I think that one uh, shouldn't be there, really. We're just checking here. If enemy direction is minus four, in other words, going to the left, and enemy X has got less than zero, then enemy direction should equal four, and then it'll start moving towards the right and then we set the sprite position of sprite 3 at enemy x and enemy y. So we go to the loader we have to make sure that we've uh, loaded in here we are load image 3 with uh, enemy ship and we need to create the sprite down here create sprite 3 comma 3 so sprite 3 with image number 3 and position the enemy on the screen. Uh, go back to the main loop we uh, we're going to ignore the collision for now, and in the go sub in the do loop, the main loop, we need to enemy move. Okay, so go sub enemy move will go here and run this routine for controlling the enemy. So let's try that out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got our ship. Remember, we can shoot, and we've got an enemy coming down. There we go. And you saw me debug it by taking a line out as well. Obviously nothing happens, there's no collision. So when it gets to the bottom... Um, ah, maybe I, I read that wrong. No, no. There is no um, check for the Y position. So we need to sort that out as well. So that's an enemy uh, going down. Then we have to do the collision. Remember, we go back to... Um, our hash includes. This one is now part of the source code, and here it is. Okay, so collision routine. If get sprite collision, so you're doing a test between sprites two and three, two being the laser, three being the enemy. If it equals one, if it's true, then play a sound explosion, put score up by ten points. Uh, set the enemy X and Y position so it's off screen so the Y goes minus 50 so you can't see it. Uh, laser 
set, reset the laser to zero and offset the laser so you can't see that as well. Uh, that's what that does. And if if it hasn't collided, then it just returns back to where it was called. So we have to make sure it's called. It's called down here in the main loop. So let's try that out. And there you go. A player ship shooting a laser at an enemy and killing the enemy. In the next tutorial, we'll add some stars and a score and complete the game. Click subscribe to keep up with the tutorials too.